Okay, in this episode, we're going to talk about visualization again. Um, you got to be able to look at something in three dimensions on a two-dimensional piece of paper. You got to be able to turn that around and put it into your mind, I guess. Look at a piece of paper and be able to visualize something in three dimensions. Okay, it's a ball, it's a sphere, it's a part. It's going to look like this from this direction. So that's what we got to look at, and that's where we're going with this, uh, this lesson. Basic Blueprint Reading by Rick Costin. This book is an entry-level book written for the first-year welding student. It was put together out in Oregon in the community college system. It's an open source book. I don't think there's any copyright from it involved with it in, from what I've read on their website. You can find it at openoregon.pressbooks.pub.blueprint. Well, with some backslashes. Anyways, if you just Google basic blueprint reading open Oregon it'll take you there we're going to cover chapter 3 visualization part 1 we're going to cover orthographic projections and three view drawings we're just going to take a little bit of this and we're just going to hit it from there so we're going to talk about orthographic projections and three view drawings so here's an example of a part I don't know what this part is some kind of clip or something so we're going to look at this. Well, if you look at this, I've got it outlined there in yellow. That's the part we're looking at. Well, we've got three different views of this. So you can see I've tagged each one of the views with a little block. So the top view is that one on the top, and it's got the little blue block. That would be the view if we're looking at this part from the top. And then you've got the one with the little orange block, that's the one where we're looking at it from the front view. And then the green one is if we were coming at it from the side view. So we generally have three views. If a part's super complicated, sometimes we'll have more. But generally, we go with three views. View some hidden lines, and then we go from there. So this is our first, I guess, example of you know a three-view drawing. So this is an orthographic projection. That's, we're going to look at a top view, front view, and a right side view. That's what we're going to do. This is how this world works. So we're just going to keep, or this is how we're looking at it. So you need to understand how to get to the point where you can look at these drawings and just be like, oh, that's the top view, front view, and the right side view. This is how we, we look at stuff. Here's another one that we've got. Um, this one's got some hidden lines in it, but you can see I've marked with the colors. Um, the fluorescent green, they match up. So we're taking our isometric view, which is up in this upper right-hand corner, and then we're, we're translating that into um, a front view, a side view, and a top view. So the, the green matches up with the green. If we were looking down on the green, the green um, face, that's what it would look like. Then if we go to the pink face, you look at that pink face, we're just looking straight on at it. But we can't see that notch that's cut out, so that's why we represent that notch. We know it's there, but it's represented with a hidden line, that dashed line. And then if we come around to the blue side and we look at it from the blue face, that's what we've got. We've got a hidden line again because that notch is cut out. So this is an example of what we would be looking at if we had we looked at that um, block. We've got an isometric view up in the right-hand corner, and then we've got our three views. Here's another orthographic projection. It's just a block. You know, it'd be like looking at a, I don't know, I've got on my desk here a, a box of pencils. You know, it'd be like looking at a pencil box. You've got three views. You look at it from the end, the front, and the top. Here's one that's a little more complicated. I've got, you know, the top view is in the green, and then I've got the pink view, which is the front view, and then the blue side, the blue one is coming in from the side. And you can see we've got that, um, I circled it in red, the hidden line, because on that end view, you wouldn't be able to see that notch that's cut out of this block but we know it's there, so we need to represent it in that view, and we represent it with a hidden line, which is a dashed line. 
Here's another one with three views. You'll see this in your homework. Um, you know, the top view comes down as number one. The side view is um, number four and five. Faces number four and five will show up on that side view. And then the front view, we're going to get faces two and three. And you can see that we've got the that notch cut out of this one, but we're looking at it from angles where we don't need to represent it with a hidden line. We just represent it with a um, with a an object line because we can see it. We can see where that notch is cut out. This is kind of a weird a weird uh, block, but you can see how we've got it cut out here. Um, you know, the front view will be faces three and four. The top view would be faces one and two, and then five and six would be the side views. Once again, another one. You know, one, two, and three are the top view. Seven and eight are the side view. And then four, six, and four are the um, front view. Okay, so that wraps up orthographic projections and three view drawings. So we're going to get into these further. So take, do your assignment for today and we'll start looking at some drawings going forward and trying to uh, figure out, you know, some of these three view drawings. But once you kind of get into them, it's, it's not too difficult to figure out. So that's where we're headed. Anyways, everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you later.